Welcome back to the Tacomaholic channel, everybody. It's a beautiful day, and I'm excited because in today's video, we will be going over the top five things you can expect from the next-gen, fourth-gen Toyota Tacoma. So let's get started. And if you are new to the channel and you love everything related to Tacomas, please make sure you subscribe now, and don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. First up is the engine option, which looks like it's probably going to be a new four-cylinder turbo, maybe some kind of hybrid. And don't forget, Toyota has also announced that by the year 2025, all of their models, not just the 4x4s, will include an electric, a fully electric engine model. So out of those options, which are you least excited about? Four-cylinder turbo, hybrid, or a full electric? They all, of course, have their pros and cons. Sort of silly to get too much into it since we don't have any specs yet, but go ahead, comment below, and let me know. Next on the list is some kind of new transmission. Of course, I don't have any specs yet, but one of the biggest complaints for the third gen Tacomas was the weird automatic transmission, which was sort of shifting all over the place in an attempt to, I guess, optimize RPMs and get a few more miles per gallon, which again, if you drive a Tacoma, you know miles per gallons always suck. So hopefully a new transmission will get rid of the annoyance of constantly shifting, trying to find that perfect gear and RPM, and maybe bump up the MPGs just a little bit. And I think we can all admit for a mid-sized truck that doesn't have a V8, the MPG should be a little higher. And next is the actual styling, which looks like it's gonna be heavily influenced by the brand new Toyota Tundra, specifically with the grille headlights and taillights, which is either a blessing or a curse, of course, depending on whether or not you actually like the way the new Tundras look. Personally, I thought they were a little weird to begin with, but I really like the headlights. I, I would actually like to see that transition well into a Tacoma. Obviously, it's not gonna be like copy paste, but hopefully it will be pretty similar. And again, if you hate the new Tundra, probably not gonna be good for you for the new Tacomas, but I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens. And next on the list is one I'm sure many of you will be interested in, specifically people following this channel, which you know we get off-road sometimes around here, not often, but sometimes. And that is the fact that it looks like the new Tacoma will get rid of the leaf spring setup for the rear suspension and switch to a coilover setup. Again, similar to the new Tundra setup. This is supposed to increase the on-road performance, but I'm curious what it will actually do to off-road performance. I don't have a lot of experience with like coilovers in the rear. That's what she said. <laughs> I know the Forerunners have them. I think the coil is actually off of the shock though, sort of side by side. I'm not really sure if that's gonna be good or bad for like flexing and stuff like that off-road. If you have any more info on that, go ahead and comment below and let me know. And are you guys excited or sort of irritated by this? Again, increasing the on-road performance does make sense since let's face it, most people getting a Tacoma aren't getting crazy with the off-roading. So Toyota is designing stuff to make it more appealing to the general audience. Still, that can leave a lot of us hung out to dry. And lastly, the new Tacoma will feature the TNGA-F body on platform setup that the new Tundras are running and I think the upcoming 4Runner and Sequoia. I'm not sure if it's currently on the Sequoia or not, but it looks like Toyota will be getting the same platform. Aside from the name of it, the TNGA-F, I don't have any information on it. Not sure if that's good or bad. Probably should be an update over what is currently on the second and third gen Tacomas though. So if you have any info on that, you know what to do, comment below, let us know. And when can we expect to see the release of the fourth gen brand new Tacoma style? Some rumors have hinted at the end of 2022, making it, I guess, the 2023 body style release. Personally, I think it's probably gonna be more like later 2023, 2024, but I guess we will just have to wait and see. If you are definitely interested in grabbing the fourth gen Tacoma, whenever it gets released, comment below and let me know. I have to admit, I'm a little curious about it. Not that I would ever get rid of my second gen baby back here, but you know how it goes. Always nice to upgrade every now and then. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give the video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and comment below and let me know which of these features you are probably most excited about or if there's something else entirely you wish Toyota would add to the fourth gen Tacoma. As always, thank you so much for supporting the channel by watching this video. Enjoy the rest of your week and I'll see you in the next video.